Assalamu alaikum welcome to Khamar Munboy channel and this is a new video for you do like my video so that I can create more for you by clicking on this like button and also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed my channel till now and also press on the bell icon if you are not getting this notification uh, for my channel you will get a notification every time I upload a new video thank you so now we will go for analysis of this model so this is let's come back to 3d view and uh, let's uh, turn it back to plan view then uh, we will go for check for this model so we have defined the model then drawn then uh, we have selected and assigned the loads now we will uh, go for the check model in analyze option go to check model here it will check up to 1 mm select all also select the joint storage assignment so it will check up to 1 mm error also if there is any manual error in this So the checking has been done and it is showing some warning like in every floor there is a that is a, the floor area 131 has been uh, there has been a reduction of 1.93 percent so we will copy this all these warnings to a note and we will try to resolve this warnings I told you because of uh, the change in diaphragm uh, there will be a warning so we will copy it to a note mm, so paste it to the note like this and now we will check this uh, floor number that is 131 so how you can uh, select that uh, floor number 131 so you can go to this uh, select option and we will select uh, this object so you have to find that label that is floor 131 so we'll go we have to go to select then select to go to the labels and we have to go to the slab shell labels that is here you can find 131 floor when you select it is in the top floors that is uh, other than the cellar that is parking area so in this you have for the area reduction so Mm, this is bec happening because of the uh, it is uh, telling us to check the meshing so the meshing has not been proper so because of uh, we have taken a curved area that's why it is uh, reducing when uh, we are uh, checking the meshing by itself so if it is a uh, auto mesh and we have taken other semi rigid diaphragm then it is uh, the reducing the slab why when loaded so we'll go to the meshing well we'll go to shell then we'll go to uh, floor mesh auto mesh options in this we will from default we'll change it to uh, the cookie cut option or uh, we have here different options you can see so different option have different meaning so if we if we change it to rigid diaphragm there will be a mass only so here you have we will take a cookie cut uh, diaphragm and uh, we will uh, proceed and we will cookie cut up to 500 mm we can take 1000 mm also let us take 500 mm so it will take more time and it will uh, create more so let us take uh, 100 mm so as as much as less we take uh, it will take more time to analyze and uh, it will check okay now the you can check this is a cookie cut mesh has been applied now we will uh, check the model again so if we go to display mm -hmm. and uh, undeformed shape if you select then it will be so we have not applied any diaphragm 
diaphragm we will apply d1 diaphragm then we will again check this model so it will take more time again it is showing that uh, it has been increased so the area has been increased now so we have uh, means it is taking more area than uh, required because uh, we have divided it into 500 to 100 mm so it is uh, taking small small areas also under consideration and there is a area increment and uh, there is a area reduction so previously it was area reduction now it is incremented so as you see similarly we'll try for rigid diaphragms and again uh, semi rigid to rigid diaphragm will change we'll assign the diaphragm and then we will uh, apply a cookie cut or we'll take off let us try for another again now let us just take this as a rigid diaphragm mass only if we take this the vertical loads will not be transferred so that will show another warning you can check so let us apply this um, I am doing this to show you why the warnings appears if you go mistake by one or the two steps steps this is not mistake but so now i am going to change this semi rigid to rigid diaphragm and uh, i will going to apply this all to the shells then we will just uh, check the model now at this time what it will show let us see so it will show i think obviously it will show there is a no load transfer see this so there is a low load loss uh, there is a total loss of a uh, load factor load pattern that is floor finishes so the floor finishes and live load whatever we have applied as not getting transfer so there is a load loss it is showing so we cannot apply uh, that kind of mesh to these slabs where there is a load in the vertical direction so only the horizontal load direct uh, loads are there means it will have take uh, it will not take any vertical load like that kind of meshing if we do so we'll change it back to uh, the default one and we'll change it back to the none and uh, then we will uh, yeah. diaphragm we will change it back to the none diaphragm then we will check uh, and uh, all the things will come set a right so now i have applied the diaphragm d1 now again if I check then also some error will come mm, and the meshing I will set to default so now the diaphragm is a rigid diaphragm and uh, I have changed it to so for more uh, if you want to know more about rigid diaphragm and semi -di rigid diaphragm you have uh, ETAPS uh, that is uh, CSI website CSI America website and CSI uh, America channel in that YouTube channel you can find actually uh, a video I can give you that link in that link you can find about semi rigid and rigid now the diaphragm is uh, rigid diaphragm and I have changed it to none once again I am changing it to none and now if I analyze uh, there will not be any error or warning see what is this so there should be a default meshing and uh, the diaphragm should be none then only it will be showing the proper okay 
so here here you can see what is the assign, assigned for foundations and uh, what are the degrees of freedom and applied here the model run case we will set it to not run to not run so here the we will set the load cases which we want to run or which do we do not want to run now we will not run any model case we will just run the live load and dead load cases and then we will run the analysis we will do the design for this static loads only if this static load uh, design passed uh, in the static then we will go for the dynamic loads that is uh, earthquake loads and wind loads so the analysis has been complete in my next video i am going to show you how to see the bending moment and the shear force here let us see the deflections here you can see the displacements that is nothing but the deflections and uh, it should be within the limit uh, that is uh, you know for the beams and uh, you know for the slab so what is the limit uh, that is uh, L by D ratio and should be less than 26 for continuously supported so you have to check that with this uh, coming uh, it value that is 3.31 mm here so these values you need to check that vertical user direction what is the vertical um, maximum displacement so that displacement has to be checked with L by D ratio for the slab and the beam both so that it is under the safe limits so uh, you can go to display and show tables here you can select all the models analysis and then press on ok then all the tables will come here you can go to displacements and uh, or beam beam reactions whether it base reactions or beam reactions beam forces it will show the all forces in beams and uh, you can check the user direction uh, maximum which is the user value and then these are the beam forces uh, that is uh, you have the bending moment and shear forces in the beam so that you can check and you have to do concrete frame design so let us end this video here see you up in my next video yeah. You can see all these values. So let me show you how to see the bending moment and shear forces in the list. Now you find the frame displacements. These are all things you can find it out in the tables. Thank you for watching.